Welcome to our Week 7 NFL Power Ranking Tiers. We're going to start off in the Super Bowl Contender Tier. The Lions, I feel like they're going to stay Dobbs. I mean, they just won <laughs> with 47 points. So I think they're going to be staying all year, Hunter. I, yeah. Again, honestly, like barring... And again, the Aiden much, Hutchinson injury is concerning. I was going to I was gonna say barring a major injury, but then I was like, wait a fucking minute. But, yeah. but barring multiple major injuries. Next, we have the Houston Texans. They have also scored 40 points. I mean, against a team they should have, but I think it's still impressive. Oh, yeah. We have the Kansas City Chiefs. They were on a bye. Minnesota Vikings, they were on a bye. We had the Washington Commanders lose to the Ravens. It was only by seven. So, I don't know. Do they deserve to stay? Do they move down? Where do we keep them? It's so tough. I don't know. I think, you know what? As much as, again, we don't really, I think you and me both don't really have that faith. I do feel like it would be a little wrong of a team that we are very likely, spoiler alert, going to be moving up into the Super Bowl contenders tier. Yeah. So I think they get one more week. Okay. But again, you lose you lose two weeks in a row. You lose another, you lose a bad game. So I don't know. For right now, though, I just, the Commanders fans, you guys deserve it. We'll, we'll let it, we'll let it, we'll let it stay playoff tier we have the tampa bay buccaneers 51 points do they move up do they stay i mean depends how you view the saints i guess i mean look again as a saints fan and here's the thing too again the bucks didn't even necessarily play an amazing game like this was much <laughs> more like no like i'm telling you right now again they turned the ball over three times yeah yeah, uh, yeah. It, you know they they ran the ball down the saints throat but the saints have no run defense also, I'll tell you this, Bucks fans, because I know I can already hear you guys getting sick, but I want to be crystal clear. Bucks, look, you you win this upcoming week. You you win this upcoming week. You're moving up to Super Bowl contenders. That's the bottom line. But I just, I think the Saints are so not only bad, but also so, so injured that it's like, I don't know if that I can move them up off of that performance, albeit yeah. that it was a very good performance. It's also like you are playing against the Saints that have like 14 starters injured. Next, we have the Baltimore Ravens. I think we're going to move them up. They did win that tough game, and they have been playing better in the recent weeks. So I think it's fair to say they are Super Bowl contenders. Oh, absolutely. Philadelphia Eagles, they got to go down. I don't care that you won. You played the Cleveland Browns and won by four. You did not no, they, good. They, I, Eagles fans would agree. This is a middle-of-the-pack Eagles team unless they uh, literally until they prove us otherwise. Green Bay Packers, I feel like they got to go up now. I feel like it's time to move them up. It, we we knew it was going to be coming again eventually. It, yeah. it was only a matter of time. Buffalo Bills. I think they got to stay in playoffs. They just made the Amari Cooper trade. They barely beat the Jets, who have not looked good. I don't feel comfortable moving them up yet. Not yet. No, again, they're, they're, they are the AFC Bucks. Because in same concept, I can see Bills fans up in arms. But the Bills have shown us multiple years in a row, Bills fans. They they go through these stretches where they look like the hottest team, and then they go through stretches where you're like, are we sure that this team is not a cloned roster out there? Are we sure that this is the same team that showed up? So they got to show us otherwise. Again, much like how it was with the Packers, I have plenty of faith that they will soon enough, but for right now, they got to stay playoffs. Pittsburgh Steelers, I feel like they got to stay playoffs. They did not have a very convincing win. No, until their offense shows us that they can go be a Super Bowl winning offense on top of a Super Bowl winning defense, I'm pretty confident that Steelers fans would understand where we're coming from. Seattle Seahawks. I feel like they may have to move get moved down to middle of the pack. Unfortunately, I you know, you and me kind of saw the writing on the wall with this one. They started out really hot, but again, it was against very subpar competition and they were very close games. As of right now, the Seahawks are a middle of the pack team, and it's not bleak. They still are right in the thick of things for the division and everything. But you look at the entire year and you say to yourself, the chances of them actually pulling off the division win to me is pretty slim. The Atlanta Falcons, I think they're staying. I I think they did beat and do what they needed to do against the Carolina Panthers. But with that being said, it is the Carolina Panthers, and I don't know how impressive that is. No, absolutely. They, They also scraped by the Eagles. It's like, yeah, again, beat a really bad Saints team. We haven't had a big enough sample size yet to sit here and say that the Falcons are Super Bowl contenders. Chicago Bears, I feel like they have to stay. Um, They beat the Panthers. They beat the Jaguars by a lot. They did what they needed to do against bad teams. I want to see them face a really good team and play that well. 
And until then, I feel like they're kind of stuck in the playoff tier. No, absolutely. Absolutely. But I'll, I'll say this, Hunter. Caleb keeps doing what we think he can do and improve the way he the, at the speed we think he can every single week. They could find themselves in that tier this year with the way that defense is playing. That that defense is is an elite unit. Middle of the pack tier, we have the Dallas Cowboys, who I believe is going to be moving down to any given Sunday after that abysmal performance. Yeah, you know what? I, I think I'll say this. I want to move them down so bad, too. But I do still feel like deep down, they're just a middle of the pack team. They like, are, but like, have they played like a middle of the pack team? Like, have they played like a middle of the pack team? I was like, I, I agree that I think they are middle of the pack, but they haven't played like that. Like, I no, feel like on, anybody just... can walk in to the Dallas Cowboys when they play him, play them and beat them. I mean, they, it's, they it's, barely I guess beat it the Steelers like... and, and, the, and the Giants. I guess, you to know, look, to your point. You did beat up on the Browns week one. It's the Browns. They let the Saints come in there and punch them in the throat, but that was also a healthy Saints team, so it is a bit different. Now that the Saints are injured, it's like, Lord have mercy, it's a completely just different situation. But they 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 made the comeback against the Ravens, but that was a terrible game, too. That was just the Ravens taking their foot off the gas, which they're notorious for. They scraped by the Giants. They scraped by the That's Steelers. That's what I'm saying. They're not a middle-of-the-pack team to me. You know what? I'm sorry, Cowboys fans. The only 500 team that's going to find themselves there. But like until they show us otherwise, I say it's time to pull the trigger, Hunter. Yeah. I mean, I just think they're set to unravel. Middle of the pack, we have the Jets. I think they got to stay here right now. I think it was close. But again, they're also two and four. But they got Adams. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they got to stay here. They would. I'd say this. No cap. I'd never say that. But that's how you know how the situation is bad. No capping, guys. If. The Jets didn't trade for Devontae. They would be moving down to any given Sunday. Yeah. We're going to give them the benefit of the doubt. But if they lose this upcoming week, it is going to get ugly. We have the Chargers who beat the Denver Broncos. I think they got to stay middle of the pack. They played exactly like a middle of the pack team. The Chargers are the definition maybe in this current tier of being the middlest of yeah. the middle of the pack. San Francisco 49ers, I feel like they get to move up. They beat a division or... Not a division rival. Yeah, a division rival on Thursday night football. CLC I think it, what, what I just want to say is, Hunter, I, I mean, look, I think the Niners, again, because Niners fans were all tweaking in the comments a couple weeks ago. We told them, just chill out. It's fluid. I think shortly they will find themselves back in Super Bowl contender. It kind of only feels like a matter of time, but we're not going to double jump them off one week. New Orleans Saints. You know where this is going. <laughs> we got to move them down. Pull, pull the trigger and save me the discussion. The Saints are way too injured and way too undercoached to not be to not be any given Sunday at this point in time. Indianapolis Colts. I feel like they're another perfect example of a middle of the pack team. No, yeah. No, 100%. Them and the Colts shaking hands meme middle of the middle of the pack. Denver Broncos any given Sunday again after getting beat by a middle of the pack team the way they did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, think again, so. I mean I'm just just call it for what it is. I would say that the Broncos are in any given Sunday territory, and that's not to any discredit of them. They would be worse if it wasn't for Sean Payton. Again, I will reiterate over and over again, especially the Sean Payton slander that I've been seeing. Not a fan of. We have the Las Vegas Raiders. They're perfect. Any given Sunday team. Don't really know yeah, what to say. Yeah, that hasn't changed. They, the, the Raiders are, are <laughs> definitely an any given Sunday team. They, they, they could find themselves in basement soon enough, but for right now, any given Sunday. Cardinals, I feel like they're here too. Any given yeah, Sunday nothing team. much has changed. It's, the Rams, I got beat by a really good team, but it's it is what it is. The Rams were on a bye. They didn't play this week. Um, we have the Cincinnati Bengals who beat the Giants by ten points in prime time. I don't know, dude. Like, I feel more confident in the Giants being middle of the pack than the Bengals. No, I was gonna say the Bengals definitely are making a jump off of that. Right? We're still we're still sitting here at two and four. Show us something else, Bengals, before we get to movie up. Giants, I feel the same way. We kind of just already said that. But yeah, yeah again, they're not. A, they're definitely not a basement team, and they're they're definitely not middle of the pack yet. They could work their way there, but like, yeah, they're staying exactly where they are. Moving into the basement tier, are the Tennessee Titans basement or NFL hell? The, With the amount of money that they spent, Hunter, it has to be I NFL they, hell. 
I think I think the Titans are going to find themselves in NFL hell. I'm very sorry, Titans fans. It it's kind of though like it would be disrespectful to the basement tier to not throw them down into NFL hell at this point. Uh, Dolphins did not play, so they're good in the basement. The Jaguars, NFL hell. Oh, they're going back. NFL hell is big this week, but like. I wouldn't say any of these fan bases would disagree. Um, NFL hell tier. We have the Cleveland Browns. I feel like they're going to stay. They just traded. Oh, they're, they're one of their oh, best offensive players. Um, Carolina Panthers. Do you think that performance versus the Falcons moves them up? No, no I, I, I think Panthers fans. Still, you're still so out on assets. You still have David Tepper as your owner. Oh, they're in NFL hell. I will say, I do feel like the Patriots might move up. Yeah. No, no. I was going to say that you, you read my mind. Look, Drake May, again, we, we said he's going to elevate the team, but the team is still has, uh, it, uh, I don't know the word I'm looking for. They have a really big amount of holes. Let's just put it like that. But you have at least the glimmer of hope that you wanted. That moves you to the basement. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been our NFL Week 7 Power Ranking tiers. If you don't know ball, want to know ball, be sure to subscribe, leave a like, let us know in the comments who you think is too high and who you think is too low.